It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, we are going to cover the Winterfest event on mobile, at least part one of the Winterfest event. And uh, we'll cover the rest of it in later videos. But in this video, we're going to cover the main set of quests. We're going to talk about Alvinor's vendor. We're going to talk about Darkstar's vendor. We're going to talk about the bundles that you can purchase with real money. And, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of a tease for the new Winterfest battle, battle pass, Winterfest season, whatever you want to call it. But that we will cover in a separate video. But if this is your first time joining me here at Hero War Central, I like to do informational educational videos about both versions of the game, Hero Wars Mobile and Hero Wars on Facebook and web. If that sounds like you, maybe stick around, maybe consider leaving a like. Uh, if not, that's fine too. Just enjoy the video. To get this out of the way, first and foremost, there are three separate sets of bundles that you can purchase with real currency. Now, two of these are pretty pretty normal, pretty average for what we typically see in events like this. You have your Emerald packages and your Hero packages and your Titan Soulstone packages. And I've got a couple of cycling through here. Uh, and it is worth mentioning that the first one will go from December 22nd, which is the start of the event, through December 28th, 2 a.m. UTC. The second bundle, I'm sorry, the second carousel of bundles will start on the 28th when there are the first bundle set ends and uh, it will expire on the fifth when the actual the full event ends the third bundle which is unique to the winter festival event here on hero wars mobile goes the duration december 22nd all the way to january 5th and this is the clan gift bundle now this will contain uh you know aside from the emeralds and the gold and the um the winter fest ornaments it will also contain a gift for your guild as well will this be the same glitched slash discounted glitch uh, I'm not sure. Who knows? Who knows for sure? I guess you guys do the math. Let us know. Should we buy this now? Let me know in the comment section down below. The first of two events that we're going to talk about today is the Winterfest tree. There are eight separate tasks to do in this event. Uh, the battle pass or the Winterfest season or whatever, it, you know, whatever you want to call it. We're going to cover that in a separate video. Today is just about the Winterfest event. There are, uh, like I mentioned, eight tasks, and all of these tasks are incredibly easy to finish within the 14-day window. The first task is simply logging in every day. The second task is uh, Treasure Hunter, which is tower chests. There are 210 tower chests that you need to open. That equals 15 per day, which is how many you get if you clear the tower without spending any emeralds. Expeditions requires 70 completions. All you have to do is complete five per day, that's really easy to do, especially if you're paying for Valkyrie's favor. And then the remaining tasks, Thea's Ascension, Aurora's Ascension, Kai's Ascension, Dark Star's Ascension, and Alvinor's Ascension, all have to do with promoting your hero from green rank all the way up to orange rank. It is worth noting now that if you already have the hero at purple, blue, green, orange, whatever, if you already have Thea at orange, if you already have Aurora at purple, you will be awarded those rewards, uh, you know, ahead of time. Not ahead of time, but it'll it'll backdate the rewards so you just get them as part of the uh, part of the total so what do you do with all of those new year tree ornaments for all of those eight incredibly easy tasks well you go ahead and you click on this little tree right here in the bottom right corner of the lobby and you're presented with the winterfest plaza now this replaces the uh, adventure map dashboard thing that we've had in events past. This is an incredibly straightforward and simple display that we have here. Across the top, you have your resources, you have emeralds, you have your bobble count or ornament count, whatever you wanna call it. You have your Alvinor currency, and then you have your Dark Star currency. Uh, you have two vendors here. You have the Alvinor vendor and the Dark Star vendor. You have your story button in the bottom left-hand corner if you wanna catch up on the story. And then you have your level up reward interface across the bottom there. Now, I'm not sure if it requires 30 ornaments every time that you level up, but considering that you get 1,408 ornaments for just completing the quests uh, relatively easily, that's uh, 46.9 levels that you'll gain. I'm not clear exactly, again, what the rewards are all the way up for those 46, 47, whatever levels, but if you get 200 of each currency, uh, that's uh, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. Now, in, in in past events, you know there have been some days that the rewards alternate. Uh, will that happen with this? 
I guess we'll find out here in a couple hours when the day resets. But you will need a significant amount of this currency in order to completely summon Alvinor to a six star hero. And if you want to go ahead and, you know, summon Dark Star to a six star hero as well. And if you already have Dark Star at six stars, then this is a whole lot of free currency that you can spend on other things. But first, let's talk about the Alvinor vendor. First of all, you can summon Alvinor in at two stars, two stars for 1,000 currency. I'll go ahead and put up on screen now the total amount of Alvinor currency that you need to get him all the way to absolute star or six star. But you can also purchase the surprise present, uh, as well as a number of different items to promote the color rank of your heroes, all the way down to orange plus four uh, items if you just scroll down. I didn't, this is just a screenshot. I didn't, you know, record a video of me scrolling down at all. The Dark Star vendor is more of the same. You can see that my Dark Star is already at five stars. It will cost me 15,000 currency in order to get her to six stars. But you can purchase, again, surprise presents with those overflow currency uh, or, of course, items. I think looking at the surprise present contents, and I don't know, I don't actually have the uh, uh, the chance uh, down correctly. Thank you, Load Runner, for this information, by the way. These are the rewards that you can get out of that surprise present. And taking a look at some of these, some of them are good. Some of them are not good at all. You have artifact boxes that you have a chance to get, which are always nice. You have skin stones, which are always nice. Great enchantment runes for your glyphs. XP potions, I guess, if you're still leveling up. But no emeralds in here. No skins, which was a big concern. I don't know if you guys recall, but the sunken chest during the Halloween event contained Corvus's skin, and it was a uh, it was a debacle. It was a it was a big problem. <laughs> it was a big problem. Uh, but these are the rewards. So what what I would recommend you do especially for the Dark Star, and this is just me, this is just my recommendation, is buy items to promote your existing heroes. Maybe promote those heroes that uh, will reward you with New Year's ornaments from the Winterfest tree event tasks that we mentioned earlier. That is, you know, Aurora, Thea, Kai, Dark Star, or Alvinor. Certainly get Alvinor up there. I think I think the elf team is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, do I, am I ready to make any kind of guesses on what the elf team is gonna look like as far as how effective it's gonna be? Do you use all five? Do you not use Dark Star? Is Dark Star bugged? All kinds of questions that we have not answered just yet, but we will over time. Now, this is gonna be a fun event. This is looking to be a pretty light resource intensive event. You don't really need to spend much money unless you want to really rush through and get, you know, those Alvinor and Darkstar currency uh, counts really high really quick. But I would say just play the game, just log in every day, do the tasks every day, just like you have been for years, months, days, weeks, whatever, you know, however long it is that you started playing. And before long, you'll easily get Alvinor, a couple of star ranks up, Darkstar if you want her, but a lot of resources either way. So look for the Winterfest Battle Pass video coming up next. We're going to do a lot of videos talking about Alvinor in the coming days and weeks. Uh, a lot of videos talking about Darkstar in the coming days and weeks. I'm very excited to see what this elf tribe is going to bring to the meta on my servers. And I'm very excited to see what tribes they're going to come up with next in the future. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.